previous sections, we have selected our soil and we have sieved our soil in order to remove organic material and get the correct grading. What we're going to do now is we're going to mix our mixture in order to manufacture hydroform interlocking blocks. When we talk about mixing, there's two scenarios. We can either mix by hand or we can mix with a pan mixer. Mixing by hand is very labour intensive, whilst mixing with a pan mixer is less labour intensive. Also, when you mix with a pan mixer, you get a better consistency in your mix at the end of the day. When loading the pan mixer, make sure that the pan mixer is switched on before the material goes into the pan mixer. Your soil is the biggest quantity or volume, so load the soil first. Thereafter, you will load the cement and you will dry mix for one minute or until you notice that it is well mixed. After you've done that, you will add in the water. Use a watering can and sprinkle the water onto your mixture. Mix for another minute or until you notice that it's well mixed. When your mixture is done and you're sure about the water content, I'm referring to the drop test, you can pull the drum lever and discard the mixture on the ground from where you will load it into your machine. Remember that the Hydroform pan mixer can come in various sizes. It is important that you do not exceed the volume of the pan mixer. If you do load too much material into the pan mixer, the pan mixer will get stuck. The blades inside the pan mixer is also consumable parts because of the corrosive nature of the soil we're working with. Keep in mind that you will need to replace the blades periodically. For more information with regards to parts on your Hydroform interlocking block making machine, make sure to contact Hydroform in South Africa. Mm -hmm.